I was to describe what Savannah's diagnosis is. So first of all, she had a congenital cataract. And then along with her congenital cataract, she has the diagnosis of persistent fetal vasculature or PFV. And the way that we've sort of figured out or the easiest way to kind of describe it is when um, Savannah was in the womb and her eye was developing, there's a blood vessel at the back of the eye, which sort of pumps blood and helps the eye grow. And then once the eye is fully formed, this blood vessel is supposed to die off. Hers didn't die off, and so it just kind of formed this cataract or a lack of vision in her eye. So that's sort of the best way we've been able to understand the diagnosis. So we were really lucky in um, some regard because her diagnosis was picked up at five days old. So at her paediatrician check before the discharge on day five, the paediatrician told us that she didn't have or that he couldn't see a radar reflex in her left eye. They fast-tracked us to a appointment PCH and that's where she had an ultrasound done on her eye and they told us the diagnosis. At the time they sort of told us worst case scenario which was that she would be blind in that eye and when you're brand new parents, five days in, hormones are everywhere, sleep is minimal, um, there was a lot of emotions and I think as well the emotions were also really high because it was just so unknown. It was something we'd never heard of, it was something that we didn't know was even a thing and so I think the lack of knowledge of what she was being diagnosed with was really scary. Um, and obviously with the worst case scenario at the time, like you don't know how that's going to affect her and will she live a full life and sort of what the next steps are when you're given something like that. So after Savannah got her diagnosis, we were super lucky. They gave us a bit of a time frame. So she was obviously only five days old um, and they told us that about the, the eight week mark was the perfect time for um, surgery for the cataract to be removed. Um, so at eight weeks old, she went in for her first surgery. It was very successful. They were able to remove cataract, and that's when we uh, started the sort of next stage in trying to build vision. I would have to say that learning to put the contact lens in was probably a harder day than the actual diagnosis itself. Trying to learn how to put the contact lens into this tiny baby with this tiny eye who's screaming, who you can't explain the situation to, was just absolutely horrible. Um, we were at the contact lens place from nine o'clock in the morning until five o'clock at night, trying to learn how to do this. I remember turning to the optometrist and saying to him, can we not just use glasses? And he'd saying that he wanted the best result, that the contact lens was something that we we're going to need to use and that we would get there. And I remember thinking, like, I don't know how we're going to do this every day. But like when you know you just have to do something, now it's just part of our routine, something that we just do every day. It's like putting on a nappy, we just put it in and take it out. And so then it's just slowly gotten so much better at it too, knowing that it's just part of her every day. And then probably at about eight months old, we went for a routine appointment. We were really positive with all we were sort of starting to see a little bit of progress, but turns out that the scar tissue had grown from the first surgery and completely covered her eye again, so she had no ability for vision. So we were then scheduled for a second surgery to remove the scar tissue, and this was extremely daunting at the time because it turned out to be quite an extensive surgery, and so she was in there a little bit longer than they had first told us so it was all very emotional and quite scary at the time but again the doctors and surgeries at PCH was incredible in, in supporting us and giving us the, the most information they could at the time but that also ended up being a really successful surgery for us and we were able to allow time for the eye to heal and then we started the process all over again so we were putting the contact in each day and three hours of patching and then since then we've just had regular appointments but all of the hard work that we have been doing with the contact lens and the patching which can be extremely hard especially with a toddler and with different activities and swimming and some days you just want to not put the patch on and just have a slow start to your day. It was all worth it in our last appointment because our last appointment um, they told us that she'd gone from legally blind to uh, vision impaired in her left eye so um, it was really exciting news that everything that we have sort of done from diagnosis to surgery to things to put in place have all started to, to show some effect, which was really exciting.